Hi, I'm Jackie from IELTSJackie.com. Welcome to this video on General Writing Task 1. One of the first steps to writing a high-scoring IELTS letter is to understand how to plan the letter. This is essential and in this video I'm going to explain why and show you how. The video covers all the basic information you need to know. The lesson includes three reasons why you should plan your letter, five simple steps of letter planning, how to understand the question, how to generate ideas, and a simple six-part letter structure. Many students get a far lower score than they're capable of achieving, simply because they either don't know how to plan their letter, or they think the planning takes up time that is better spent writing the letter. So here are three key reasons why you should plan. One, Planning saves you time. If you plan your letter before you start writing, you'll already know what you're going to say and won't need to keep stopping to think about the next idea. This means that you'll be able to write much faster than if you don't have a plan. You only need to spend five minutes on the planning stage. That leaves 15 minutes to write and check your letter. Two, planning results in a more relevant answer. 25% of your marks of a task achievement. This includes writing over 150 words, stating the reason for writing your letter, and using the correct tone, which is formal or informal. Three, planning results in a better structure. Another 25% of your marks are for coherence and cohesion. This includes having a clear structure to your letter, using paragraphs, using cohesive devices, for example, next, because, if, however, also, or then, and also using referencing, for example, he, she, it, or they. Spending a few minutes planning before you start writing will ensure that you include everything that's required for a high mark. Your plan will give you a basic outline to follow as you write. This will make your task a lot easier and lead to a far better letter and a happy examiner. There are five steps to writing a good letter for general writing task one. One, understand the topic. Two, understand who you're writing to. Three, identify the three things you must write about. Four, decide if the tone should be formal or informal. And five, generate ideas. We'll look at these in more detail in a minute, but first I'll quickly show you how to understand an IELTS letter question. The structure of the question will always be the same. There are three parts. Part one is the topic. Part two is the person you must write to. And part three is what you should write about, listed as three bullet points. Also on this slide is a typical question. I've used the same colour coding to highlight the three different parts. Recognising these three parts will help you to quickly analyse the question and plan your answer. Pause the video and study the question for a moment. Once you understand the structure of the question, you'll be able to quickly and easily complete the first three steps of the planning process. Here they are again with the detail from the question added. The first part of the question tells you the topic you must write about. In this question it's that you have recently started working for a new company. The second part of the question tells you who must write to. In this case it's a friend. The bullet points tell you that you must explain reasons why you changed jobs, describe your new job, and tell your friend your other news. Now for the final two stages of the planning process. Next, you need to identify what tone to use in your letter, formal or informal. Follow this rule. If the question includes the word friend, use informal language. If the question does not include the word friend, use formal language. One exception is if the letter is to a close family member. 
when you would also use informal language. But these are not common. It's essential that you're able to distinguish between the two letter types, as you will use different language in each style of letter. Our sample question states that you are writing to a friend, so an informal tone is what you must use. The final stage of planning is to generate some ideas to include in your letter. With only 150 words to write, you won't need many. Just make sure that you write about each bullet point and develop each idea fully. Here are a few tips. Number one, imagine that you are writing to a real named friend of yours. Your language will flow much more freely and naturally if you imagine that this is a real letter to a specific friend. Use their name in the greeting. Tip two, write about as personal experience if possible. If you have experienced a similar situation to the one you have to write about, use this for your ideas. It will make planning quicker and again help you to use natural language. Tip three, you get marks for relevant ideas, not clever ideas. Your ideas do not have to be the best you can possibly think of. You just need to relate directly to the bullet points. Go with your first thoughts and don't waste time trying to think of better ideas. As you think up some ideas to write about, note them beside each bullet point on the exam paper, like this. These are some ideas I've thought up for our sample question. Pause the video and read through them. You might like to think up some ideas for your own for practice. That's our planning done. Now watch the videos on how to write a high-scoring IELTS letter on each of the seven letter topics. In these lessons I guide you through the process step by step and give you sample answers. You'll find them all on my YouTube channel or via the main writing test page on the website. There's a link to it in the notes below this video. To end this video, I want to quickly introduce you to the simple six-part structure you can use to write any IELTS letter. Ideally, your letter should consist of four paragraphs with a greeting at the beginning and a sign-off at the end. Start with the greeting, which will be dear, whoever you're writing to. In paragraph one, state the purpose of the letter, that is, your reason for writing. In paragraph two, write about the first bullet point. In paragraph three, write about the second bullet point. And in paragraph four, write about the third bullet point. And finally, sign off your letter. With only 20 minutes allowed for the task and a requirement for just 150 words, you won't have time to write very much at all. The main paragraphs, as two, three and four, only need to be around 50 words each. Aim for quality in your letter, not quantity. That is, the right information written in a logical order. Having a structure to work with will help you to achieve this. That brings us to the end of this lesson on planning. Thank you for watching and goodbye for now.